بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اسلام علیکم کلاس ٹوڈے اور ٹاپک از آئین چینلز اینڈ دا فزکس آف دا آئین چینلز سو وٹ دا آئین چینلز آر ایکچولی ایکچولی دیز آر دا ٹرانس میمبرین گلائکو پروٹین پور اور دیز آر دا ٹرانس میمبرین گلائکو پروٹین پورز دیٹ اوپن اینڈ کلوز in a regulated manner and allow the passage of ions through it so if they allow the passage of ion through it there must be some rate and direction of the ion which is governed by the electrochemical gradient and the rate of the ion transport through the channels is very high almost 10 raise power 7 ions per second pass through the channels and transport is always down the gradient so after the definition of the ion channel let's see the history of the ion channels in the late 80s like 1860s or 1870s the chemical mechanism underlying the nerve and the muscles tissue messaging was not known and ludimar harman was able to conclude that nerves and the muscle cells were capable of existing and exhibiting a self propagating waves of negative charges which advances in the step along the tissues mean the nerve and muscle cells work as propagating a wave along the tissue and in late 80s Sydney Ringer used a solution of water and ran it through the vessels of an isolated heart from a frog and discovered that in order for the heart to continue beating salts needed to be present in the water sodium calcium potassium salts were important and had to be this salt had to be present in the solution and run through the tissues in the 1970 70 the existence of ion channel was confirmed by the invention of the patch clamp technique by the arvin neher and bert sackman who won a nobel prize for it and in in 2003 Recently the Nobel Prize was awarded to the American scientist Roderick McKinnon and Peter Agar for their x-ray crystallographic structure study on the ion channels so the two ion channels uh, two Nobel prize was given for a complete study of the ion channels each ion channel permits ions of a specific size and charge this permeating ion will lo- lose their dissociated water molecules and pass through the hole in the channel which is known as selectivity filter this limits their rate of passage the gating of the ion channel have the two discrete states open state and closed state and it is visible in the diagram that open state is conducting the ions and closed state is closed state is not conducting the ions this gating of the channels takes some conformational changes in the environment and if these changes occur in the voltage across the membrane then it is called voltage gated channel 
and the binding of a ligand if take place because of this gating then it is called the ligand gated channels so on the basis of these two main conformational changes we can divide it the ion channels into two main groups on the basis of the conformational changes occur across the membrane ion channel can be divided into two main categories number one is voltage gated ion channels and number two is ligand gated ion channels voltage gated ion channels these are the transmembrane ion channels that are activated by the change in the electric membrane potential if we see the structure voltage gated ion channels are made of three basic parts the transmembrane pore voltage sensor selectivity filter contains the different subunits alpha subunits and other auxiliary subunits visible in the diagram if we see the mechanism of voltage gated ion channels when the channel is in activated the ball is placed in the pores and in the resting neuron stage the channel is closed or gated when there is a neuron stimulation the channel become opens and allow the passage of ions through it types of voltage gated ion channels there are mainly main four types of voltage gated ion channel that are sodium potassium calcium and chloride ions voltage gated sodium channel these channels are responsible for rapid influx of sodium ion during the action potential in nerves muscles and endocrine cells and the mechanism of action of sodium channels are given in the diagram voltage gated calcium channels voltage gated calcium channel mediated the calcium influx in response to the membrane depolarization and regulate the intracellular processes such as the contraction secretion neurotransmission there are several different kinds of voltage gated calcium ions uh, calcium channels for calcium ions l type n type t type r type and p or q type channels they perform the different type of in the dif uh, different type of uh, calcium uh, passage in the different cells in the different uh, uh, tissues of the body voltage gated potassium channel voltage gated potassium channels are one of the key components in the generation and propagation of the electrical impulses in the nervous system upon changes in the transmembrane potential these channel open and allow the passive flow of potassium ions from the cell to restore the membrane potential voltage gated chloride channel are present in every type of neuron where they control the excitability restore the resting membrane potential and help to regulate the cell volume then after these four type of voltage gated ion channels we will discuss the ligand gated ion channels the of ion channel is the ligand ligand gated ion channels these are also the transmembrane protein which open to allow the ions such as the sodium potassium calcium to pass through the membrane in response to the binding of a chemical messenger yeah. that is a ligand they are all receptors so they are all proteins 
if we see the structure of ligand gated ion channels these are the receptors and the protein molecule that can be divided into two main domain one is called transmembrane domain and other is called extracellular domain and here is the basic mechanism of action of ligand gated ion channel the ligand gated ion channel as visible in the diagram when a ligand that is a neurotransmitter is attached on the receptor then the ion channel become open when it open its extracellular domain become open and allow the ions to flow from the channel and across, across the membrane into the cell types of the ligand ligand gated ion channels extracellular Lurly activated ligand gated ion channels and intracellularly activated ligand gated ion channels. The receptor of the cysteine loop family because it's a protein family, glycoprotein, transmembrane protein, and the receptor, all the receptors are the proteins that are the 5H3, GABA A and GABA C, glycine and the serotonin. The second one, the glutamate activated cationic channels, NMDA, AMPA, kinetic receptors, all of belong to the extracellularly activated. Intracellularly activated ligated, ligand gated eye channels are ATP sensitive potassium pump, calcium activated potassium pump, chloride pump, G protein activated potassium pump and aquaporine gated ion channels GABA receptors 